Okay, so I'm taking care of a few things here. Um, first off, this new hitch, uh, there's two holes on each side of this hitch. Um, and I didn't want to leave them open because I didn't want moisture and dirt and salt and everything to get inside this thing. So what I did is I sprayed each side with fluid film inside there and then I took a plug and I plugged the hole. So, I mean it looks factory, you wouldn't even know it wasn't there, but uh, I didn't, I, I just didn't want anything to get in there. Fluid film in here should keep the inside from rusting. Um, and if I plug it up, no dirt and salt should be able to get inside there. So um, it, it, shouldn't, it shouldn't have any rust problems inside that hitch. Um, like the factory one where it's open and you can get all kinds of uh, problems with that. Okay, second thing I just took care of. Um, if you guys remember, um, I had trouble with these recon smoked LED lights. Um, I had problems with the plugs um, rotting out. Um, I just did a temporary fix on it. Um, when I did that video and here's my permanent fix um, I use those weatherproof connectors um, normally right here in the, in the line there's a factory GM connector and the, the recon connectors are open uh, they're not they're not weatherproof so they basically corrode and then your light stops working so um, I, I cut that connector out, just use these weatherproof connectors, and um, I should never have an issue with these lights again. So um, if, if, I, if it was me and I got some recon lights, i just cut the original connector off and splice them in. It's a whole lot easier to do that before you stick them on um, than after, because this is very difficult to get up in here. Very difficult to get up in here. Even with the bed off the frame, it's hard to do this. So um, that's problems taken care of. I got them all done. So I'm actually ready to, to actually lift this bed on the frame again. So that's what I'm going to do.
Okay guys, you can see the uh, bed is finally back on the truck. Uh, I just got it uh, completely bolted down just a little bit ago. Kind of taking a break here, enjoying um, seeing the truck back together here, finally. Um, got my uh, gas filler um, bolted on. Okay, so I got new bolts in my fifth wheel rails, the bolts that I cut out. Um, they're not the nice recessed um, round ones, but um, that doesn't bother me that that's a regular bolt. It's a whole lot easier to access these um, if I ever want to take the bed off again. And the ones, the one up by the gas tank there pretty much takes a miracle to uh, get the nut on that bolt. So I got all that in. Um, I got my harness run here. It's got to be bolted down into the. It'll be bolted like that. So um, I run it down along the frame. I got to zip tie it yet. Um, it comes out right here. And uh, I think there is some confusion about how this actually plugs in. Um, you can see it plugs into the back of the hitch plug. So nothing is ever unplugged. These are all sealed all the time. It's like a T. Factory, this is the factory plug-in, plugs into there. This plug-in plugs into the bumper pull um, outlet. And then this wire goes to the bed, in the bed. So it's all sealed, nothing's unplugged. So there it is, uh, finally bolted back on, um, now for the bumper, I got something, um, something a little different for the bumper to show you. Okay, so there's the bumper for the truck, but you guys are going to have to wait for the next video for that. Um, I'm out of time here, so, um. Hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll see you in the next one.